Reason 13, like you've never seen it before, let's go. Right from your rack, you can go right here to this button, add device, and you can add your instrument there. You will see some new options under add an instrument. You have add an instrument, add effect, add player, add audio track, add mix channel, find in browser. There is a new shortcut for finding in browser. Control F will bring up your browser. Also, you can also press F9. That will also bring up your browser. And when you bring that browser up, understand that this is primarily for patches that you will find inside of Reason's browser. The browser is reshapable. However, it does need to stay within the window that Reason populates. You can't put it outside of the window that Reason populates. You have your locations. You have all locations. You have your user library, Reason library, sound pack, sound samples. Reason library is where your rack extension patches, your factory sound bank patches, and your orchestra patches are going to live. They also have another folder here called refills in case you have any refills that you have installed or purchased from the Reason store. So that will be for your browser. All right, if we hit this arrow right here that says tags, we'll be able to see all of the tags that fall under all types for the Polystep folder okay so there are some tags that are grayed out which means polytone currently does not have patches that match those types of tags sorry if you were looking for lo-fi polytone but of course the instrument can make all kind of sounds so it's just really up to you for you to go in and create those sounds or if you find a sound that you do feel like um, should be labeled as lo-fi then you can go ahead and customize that yourself by right clicking and it will give you the option if you right click it'll give you the option to edit categories and tags and when you get that option you can then add a tag for lo-fi and now we have inside of lo-fi we have one of the polytone patches has been labeled as lo-fi so we're going to go to polytone and we're going to go to keys and i think the key patch that i liked once you load up the sound from your browser, it will be loaded into your rack. And if you want to browse for another sound, then you just press F9 or Control F again. And when you press F9 or Control F, it will bring up the browser up again. And this time when you load something in, it will not replace that sound. Rather, it will just load another sound in. So now I have three polytones. If I want to just change this one polytone and I want to browse specifically for polytone patches, then I need to hit browse patch because that will lock me into browsing patch is specific for poly tone so maybe that will be a key or maybe that will be a different kind of a patch on the left side of your locations you will have this folder that's orange and orange lets you know that you are in browser focus mode it's focusing for polytone patches All right, cool. So this is a really cool little sound that we have here with polytone. This is a really cool sound. And we can see that as we move between the fader, that sound actually changes. It's a key feature of polytone. This ability to swing between or morph between these different a and B layers of polytone. It is a dual layer synthesizer and the dual layer is because there's an A layer and a B layer and you can select between those two layers. Let's go ahead and record it into Reason. Now let's check out the sequencer inside of Reason and see what's happening new there as well. So here is our pattern that we just recorded. If I double click into that pattern, this is the edit area view. And if I want, I can drag this guy down. So just so that it is like right there and I can still see both patterns. This is where it is inside of the sequencer. And here it is inside of the edit area. If I'm inside of the edit area like I am now, I can hit escape and that will drop down the edit area. Whenever I select where this is going to be, it will always be that way. No matter what pattern I'm looking 
that, it will always jump back into this position. OK, so if I am the type of person like me, I like to have it full screen and then I can hit escape and go back out of here. Then if you set it that way, it will always appear as full screen. All right, cool. That sounds great, but actually there should be more notes in there. So we need to actually go ahead, change our grid. I think this is what we want, 32 seconds. Bada -ba -bum. Yeah, there you go. Let's change some velocity on these notes. So boom, we can do that. So I did that by holding control and pressing alt, creating my pencil. And then that's where I can draw a ramp. But actually they have a new feature where you can create a ramp right over here in the left side. This is where you will find your MIDI tools. So right here, if I wanna change something with velocity, I need to drop down this velocity menu. And now I can see, I can scale it, I can randomize it, or I can make a ramp and I can click that make a ramp button and it will make a ramp right there just like I just did. If I want the range to be a little bit higher, I can increase that range, hit make a ramp. And I think that's right around where we want it to be. Let's take a listen. Cool. I think for this one though, I think I want it to be um, eighths so i'm gonna change this to eighth triplets so we get like a bum 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 yeah yeah yeah, like that a bum 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 just like that and then we'll hit escape and yeah there is our first pattern All right, so now we got our first pattern. I wanna to continue to build my track and I have this baseline here. I think that that sounds great. How about we pull up our browser again with F9 and we can pull up our browser and we can find some more patches for us to use. I think the sound that I'm looking for is definitely a keyboard of some sort. I'm not 100% sure what it is called. So I'm gonna to go to instrument patches, okay? And I, and I wanna just be in regular Reason Factory Sound Bank, okay? That's where I wanna pull this sound from, okay? I'm not 100% sure what it is called. I think it is a mallet. I don't see the name of it here yet. So let's go ahead and start kind of using some of these tags to see if we can get the sound. Now it's not a synth, it is a organic sound. So it's kind of real. So I'm gonna choose realistic. And right now it's not showing me what I think I'm looking for. So I'm gonna take off realistic. Man, I think it must be a mallet. I don't think it's a key. I think it's a mallet. Let's go into mallet. And there it is right there, kalimba. That is exactly what I was looking for right there. Okay, cool. So we can add to our sound that we're creating here. So kalimba is a little dry on its own, but I think that's great because now we can use another device that is new to Reason, which is Ripley. So we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to Reason Studios and then we're going to go to Ripley Space Delay. I think this guy is great, even on the default patch that they give you. That's just really awesome, right? Let's quantize that. And I think what we did the first time around, we kind of had um we had another layer on there. So let's just go ahead and do that. Double click this guy. And I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to drop them down an octave. Control, shift, and down. We'll drop them down an octave. Mm -hmm. 
So I really like the way that that sounds using Ripley along with that kalimba. Let's go back into our browser. This is a much faster way to get your sounds into your sequencer, into your rack. It's just a much faster way, even if you're using it by selecting categories and tags, or if you're just using the browser because you have your own library of things that you use a lot, you know, it could just be one of those places that makes bringing in music a lot faster. Let's find a percussion loop that we can use. So I'll actually go in here. Let's go to uh, Rex loops. Actually, we can really just use all types of loops, actually. But we will make sure that we click on Reason Library. We'll go to Rex loops and we're looking for a percussion loop. Um, so in our percussion loops, um, we got hand drums, we got shakers, electronic pump. I think we're looking for like a combo. We're looking for like multiple things inside of this. Here we go. So we can find a couple of different things here. Let's listen to that with our track. Let's find something that is warm. Okay. Wow. That's an interesting poly spread. Let's let's add that in real quick. Here we go. I just duplicated that sound that we had, and I'm going to go in here to our polytone. I'm actually going to turn up turn up our sustain there we are so now we can just play this uh a little longer uh with our hook area so here we go The percussion is going to be what is the winner uh, for this track right here. It's all about the percussion, man. So we're going to pull this percussion piece so that it starts right here. So we no longer have the tool window if you're used to that, especially if you're coming from Reason 12. No longer do we have the tool window, but instead, now we have access to a lot of those tools just simply when we right click. So we can right click and we can have access to quantize as well as quantize setup, meaning you have a specific way that you can set your quantize for that specific clip. You can also do that down here as well in the bottom left corner. You also can right click and you can have different things that you can do. You can open in an edit area. You can bounce this. And now there is a shortcut for bouncing, which is shift B. So you can hit shift B on any of these clips and it will begin to bounce. Um, you also have the ability to do your cross face and normalize uh, reverse scaling tempo double half. Or if you want to specify how you want to scale your tempo. So just to show what that will do if I pull this guy over here. So you can also scale your tempo. You can go half and it will make it half. 
So now that audio clip is going a lot slower or you can double it to speed it up. Double it again if you would like. You can scale your tempo, double it again. And just a very, you know, quick way to do those things. If you hold control, there are a little time clock, a little clock will appear um, when you hover over that right arrow. If you hold control, a time clock will appear and that will allow you to do some stretching as well. So you just need to know what increment you're stretching it by. And if you want to, you know, make it faster, you go to the left to make it longer, you go to the right. And um, that's another way you can time stretch as well. So a lot of these... Um, uh, a lot of the tools that you would have in the tool window have been relocated to your right click on your mouse, as well as when you go into the edit area, you will have access to do some other things as well. If you also notice the difference between uh, how Reason looks up here at the top, you have your options for your devices, browser, mixer, rack, sequencer, flipping the rack as well. That is up there as well. For those that don't know that you can press tab to flip the rack that is there as well. And when you're in your edit area, area now you have access to get to your slice edit vocal edit or comp edit when you are dealing with audio files all right so right now i'm just adding in some different effects and things like that So with the browser, the devices also have been moved. So you have a regular browser pane and you also have a devices pane. So right here to the left, you can have your devices and you will see um, those devices have been split into Reason devices, which you will find under Reason Studios. But as well, you can find your other VSTs and plugins that you may have. And those have been broken into instruments, effects, utilities and players as well. So we still have Reason's players. So definitely make sure that you're still utilizing those reason players as well. This definitely covers a majority of the new things that have been included inside of Reason. Polytone dual layer synthesizer, taking a look at Ripley. And we also took a look at the browser sequencer as well. And the only thing that we actually are missing that's brand new to Reason would be its three Reason tools. And if you want to learn about the three new Reason tools, click on this video right here.